That, that what you say is, 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 of course, true, and we know that, but there are different sorts of pain. Uh, mm. Let's look at the work environment. More than ever, it's a place of great change, and therein lies one of the ironies of the modern workplace. Technology and information are increasing exponentially yes. uh, at the rate of knots. Yet, it seems to be accompanied by a shrinking in the workplace. Um, there are fewer staff, tighter budgets, greater emphasis on the bottom line, and to misquote Churchill, we never before have so few staff been expected to produce so much with so much less to work with. That's a reality. And it's almost like there is an inevitability that staff are going to suffer on a personal level because of that. And we have to be careful of that. That is a reality. In some workplaces, we have seen that. Um, they are doing more with less people, and that is a problem. So when that is happening, we have to be very careful. We have to be very honest as managers. And also as staff members, if, if we're being given too much work, we need to be able to go to the manager and say, look, I can cope and give you a good job, um, produce uh, to, the, uh, to the excellence that you require by handling this, this, and this, and this. But if you want me to do this, then I'm going to have to cut back on, on the, how I'm performing. There's, you know, a human being can only perform so much. So that conversation needs to be had. And also the manager needs to be humble and needs to say, am I overwhelming my staff? Now, I think if you don't, as a manager, if you, if you don't ask yourself that question, and, uh, or if you proceed after if you if you proceed after answering in the positive, yes, I'm overwhelming my staff, but I don't care. I'm just going to do it. Um, that's not going to pay off. That's that's going to cost you in the bottom line. It may be a hidden cost, but it is going to cost you. Now we know how to work those things out, and there's a there's a financial cost to that. So this comes back to your question about signs. How can you tell when a workplace there's people struggling? And I think. For most organizations, it's once they start to see the productivity decreasing because people, when they become overwhelmed, when they become so stressed, they're so busy that nothing gets done. And, you know, I think we've all been in that space at some point where we feel overwhelmed and we just don't know where to start. So you, you see more and more of that. And there's the research has shown that productivity can be reduced by up to 50 percent. So you're paying someone for a full time job and you're only getting a half time job done. Uh, the other thing you then start to see is absenteeism, so people not showing up. So these are the sort of things that you can track and measure. But a good manager who is in touch with their people and understands their people and has the skills, not just the awareness about well-being, but the skills to actually go in there and keep an eye on their people and know what are the signs to watch out for and know what each of their team is capable of and how to work best with them they're going to be able to prevent a lot of that happening. So that's good both for the employees and it's good for the business. Mm -hmm.